In this video, I want to help you understand series and parallel connections. So let's first start by sketching a circuit. Here's a voltage source. So we have two resistors. Let's label them R1 and R2. The first thing I want to remind you of is the concept of nodes. It is helpful to identify the nodes. So a lot of textbooks will put maybe a few points here. And then they'll label them like this, A, B, and C. Well, that's correct, but it's better to identify the nodes as the electrical connection between elements. So let's just write that out. So a better understanding of node A is not that it was just that one point, but rather all this entire wire. And then node B is all of this and node C is all of that. So we can identify series elements as two elements that share exactly one node. They have exactly one node in common, and that node must have no other current carrying connections. So we can say that R1 and R2 are in series, why? Because they're connected at node B. And then at node B, there's no other current carrying connections there. Similarly, we can say that R2 and the voltage source are in series because they're connected at node C. And finally, we can say that the voltage source and R1 are in series. They're connected at node A. One consequence of elements connected in series is that if you have a current flowing through the circuit, let's call it I that's leaving the voltage source, well, that I flows through R1 and no more and no less can leave R1. So every bit of current that enters R1 has to leave R1. This is a consequence of the conservation of charge. So uh, every bit of current leaving R1 is the same current that enters R2, and it, it's the same current that leaves R2. So uh, let's just write that out here. Now we can explore elements connected in parallel. So let's copy this circuit, and we'll paste it here below. And I'll add another resistor between nodes B and C. Now if we identify the nodes, they look like this. A is just the same as before. B now includes all of the connection to R3 between R1 and R2. And then C looks like this. The definition of elements connected in parallel is as follows. Two elements connected in parallel parallel have two nodes in common. So the only elements that are connected in parallel here are R2 and R3. And we can write this in shorthand, so we put here slash slash R3. Or you could use the vertical bars, which are called pipes. So this is uh, R2 is in parallel with R3. Why? Because they share nodes B and C in common. Now, consider for a moment what happens if we define voltages V2 and V3. The way voltages V2 and V3 are defined is V2 is the voltage across R2 with B as the observation point and C as the reference. And V3 is the voltage across R3 with the plus node, which is B, as the observation point, and the minus node, which is negative, uh, node C, as the reference. So we'd measure them like this. So here's our voltmeter, and this one would be reading V2, which is the same as VBC. So if you haven't seen my video on double subscript notation or my video on voltage measurement, be sure you watch that. Okay. 
I'll put a link to that in the video description. Similarly, we could measure V3 as follows. Notice here that in both cases for V2 and V3, the reference node is connected to node C, and then the observation is taken at node B. So the principle we'll write here is that two elements connected in parallel have the exact same voltage. Actually, a better way to say that is this. The voltage across two elements connected in parallel is the same. So let's write a summary table. So series connections between two elements require exactly one shared node and no other current carrying connections. And when you have series elements, you have the same current. So let me just point out something really quick. Uh, notice here that everything is in series in this first circuit. And then when I connected R3 across here, no longer can I say that R1 and R2 are in series. It's tempting to say so, but they're not. Why? Because now we have a new current carrying connection in R3. Let me just erase these voltmeters. So what we'll have is current leaving the voltage source. We'll call this I. We know that I leaving the voltage source is the same as entering the resistor, and so it has to be the same leaving uh, the resistor R1. Uh, notice that the voltage source and R1 still remain in series, but now R1 and R2 are not in series because while they do share one node in common, they have this other current carrying connection from node B to node C through R3. Similarly, R1 and R3 are not in series because there's another current carrying connection going through R2. So let's just go ahead and label these currents I2, I3. One thing you can see here is that, and this is really where these connections get their name, since Vs and R1 are the, uh, in series, they have the same current. So the same current flows through them in series. And then I2 and I3, well, this current from leaving R1 splits off and then flows through them in parallel and then recombines at the bottom. And this current has to be I. So I hope that also helps illustrate why these things are called series or parallel. So back to the summary table, we'll write here that for the parallel circuit, you have exactly two nodes in common. And the same, uh, and what's the same? Well, it's the voltage. Okay, so I hope that helps you recognize elements that are connected in series or parallel. An important key to this is to identify the nodes. And then you just ask yourself, well, what's in common? Is it one node? Is it two? If it's one, are there other current carrying connections? Maybe one last thought I'll add here is that I could add another resistor here that doesn't go anywhere. And so what you'd have, let's call this Rx. And so I could have a new Ix, but since there's no uh, closed path for Ix to flow through, it has to be zero. So this Rx does not represent a current carrying connection at all, that means then that Vs and R1 still remain in series. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like the video and subscribe to the channel.